I went to the village shop. It is a very, very small shop. Usually in every Russian village you may find such a shop. So I wanted to film a small episode for you, but unfortunately they did not let me film inside. I don't know what they are afraid of. What may I tell you about this shop? All the necessary products such as bread, milk, butter, cheese, so everything that you need for a good meal you may buy here. The prices are not very high, a little bit cheaper. I compare with uh, the prices that we have in Moscow region. If compare with the Moscow prices, so here the prices are cheaper. So let's walk along this street. Uh, that is a typical village street. Right now we are not far from the monastery. And what I have noticed here, there are a lot of houses uh, that are on sale. And also there are a lot of hotels here. I think that all these houses that are very close to the monastery, they are like small hotels. So you may rent this house for a day or maybe for a few days. I think all these houses are hotels. Also, I want to tell you that on the territory of the monastery, there is a big pilgrimage center. So if you do not know where to stay, you may go to the pilgrimage center. It works from 8 a.m. up to 8 p.m. every day. Very convenient. So there they will help you to find a good hotel or maybe to find a house where you would like to live. I think that for foreign tourists that is just um, a good opportunity to live in a real Russian house, not in a hotel, but in a real provincial house. I think that is a great experience for <laughs> every foreign tourist. Now we are going back to the monastery because at one o'clock we are going to have a small excursion. Uh, we are meeting with our guide and then I will show you uh, the famous, in Russian it is called Kanavka, in English that is Groove. I will show you a very beautiful place and that is a must for everyone uh, to visit it if you come to Divyeva. From time to time I get questions about homeless people. I may tell you that here in Divyeva or in small Russian villages there are no homeless people. All of them go to big cities. In big cities it is um, easier for them to survive because there are a lot of people there who donate money to them, money and food. As for Divyeva, I think that these people who are sitting near the entrance to the monastery, they are not homeless, but they are poor. People give uh, some money or some food to them. I may tell you that uh, here in the monastery, everyone can get food uh, for free. Two times during the day, everyone can go to a monastery cafe and eat a very tasty lunch, and it is free. You mustn't pay for this. Only if you want to leave some donation, so that is up to you. But uh, the monastery doesn't ask any money for this food. So. Uh, that is why everyone can come and eat every day, at least two times a day. The monastery provides hot meals to everyone. I can't say that every monastery does this, but as for this particular monastery, the head of the monastery decided that they will feed everyone two times a day. The village Tiviva is famous because of this wonderful monastery. 
a very unique monastery, which is considered to be the fourth Virgin Mary's inheritance on the earth and the only one in Russia. And according to the legend, Virgin Mary wanted Saint Seraphim to construct a religious house for her here. She promised to be its mother superior. And also Virgin Mary asked to dig a groove around the monastery. And now this groove is a religious symbol of Tiveva and a powerful protection for all Christian people. Let me tell you in a few words about this groove, Kanavka. That is a rather long road, about 800 meters the duration of this road, to be more particular 777 meters. On both sides of this road you may see a trench. Also, you will see here a lot of uh, gooseberry bushes. Father Seraphim told to plant gooseberry bushes here. If I'm not mistaken, in the times of the Soviet Union, all the monasteries on the territory of Russia were closed and the monastery in Diveva was also closed. And um, here was a warehouse and a big storage. The reconstruction of the monastery began about 20 or 25 years ago. Now all the buildings are in a good condition, a lot of icons were restored. Now you may see a lot of flowers here, a lot of sculptures. By the way, here is, there is uh, the monument to Saint Seraphim, and uh, I should tell you that there are not many monuments to saints on the territory of Russia. I know that there is a beautiful monument to Sergei Radonizhsky in Troitsa Sergeyeva Lavra in Sergeyev Passat. Also, I know that there is a monument to Saint Seraphim in Sofrina and also here in Diveva. But usually on the territory of Russia you won't see a lot of monuments to saint people. By the way, guys, do you remember when we were with you in Murom, I showed you the ancient Russian houses, old Russian houses, where the ground floor was made of stone and the first floor was made of wood. So here in Diveva there are also many such houses and one of these houses you may see right now on your screens, this house is in a very good condition and still people, I mean those who live in the monastery, because this particular house is on the territory of the monastery, so in this house still people live and the house is in a very good condition.
at the end of this road, at the end of the groove, you may see the yellow chapel. This small wooden chapel is the place where you can get dry bread. In Russian it is called Сухарики. Сухарики от батюшки Серафима. Saint Серафим's dry bread. The tradition to give dry bread is very old and it goes from the times of Saint Серафим because when people came uh, to him, he treated his guests with dry bread. So that is the tradition of Tiveva, to treat everyone with dry bread. One time during a day, you may get this bread here for free. If that is not enough for you, you may go to the church shop and buy as much bread as you like. If you want to buy some souvenir, here in Diveva you may buy very tasty chocolates. Of course, you may buy some icons and uh, some land. As for land, uh, it is sold in small packets and also you may take as much land as you need in a special uh, box. There is a special place where everyone can get this land. Why people take this land? This land is considered to be holy and it is uh, kept in a very special place in your flat. So that is um, an old Orthodox tradition uh, to keep holy land, uh, to have holy water in your house. So, but that is uh, the story for another video. But as for today, I think that is all, guys. We shall meet with you in the next episode. There will be a beautiful sunset here in Diveva. And also I will tell you what is happening here on the groove at night. Here will be a very special procession that uh, is only here in Diveva. I think that I will show you a piece of this procession. But for today that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. Пока!